hole in the ground. The hole in the ground. I watched this yesterday because it intrigued me, right? So it's an hour and 31 minutes, and it's a, a horror occult. Horror occult. And uh, it's, uh, it's, a, it's about this little Irish boy who, who goes into this hole that's in the middle of the forest. And uh, it's, uh, it's, 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 the little boy disappears into the Irish wilderness, but when he returns seemingly different, his mother, um, his mother begins to fear that he is an imposter. So what it is, is this, they never really got into the details of where this big hole comes in. It looked like a big meteor fell into the middle of this forest. And, uh. This, the rating is R, adult content and adult language. And this has nothing in it. I'm not going to bring up the word. You know, I'm not into certain things. Just telling you. So it doesn't have anything like that. And that's why I like this movie. This movie might not be for a lot of you guys because it might not have enough blood, guts, and gore. Might not have enough sex scene. Might not have other stuff in there where most movie industries are all checking off boxes. Just don't have none of that. All this has is just, it's a good concept and a good story. The only thing is I kind of wish they would have went into where that meteor came from, but it wasn't no meteor. And they never, another thing they never questioned on is that when I was watching the movie, it never, the surrounding area and the school and everybody that was connected to that town, nobody nobody really talked about that big hole, that, that, that perfect circle in the middle of the forest, you know. You can tell the trees was burnt and... It's just when I was watching the movie, I said, man, they need to, need to tell us where this hole come from, man. Was it a meteor or something like that? Because, man, I mean, it was a it was a perfect size, you know, you know how the, a big rock hits the earth and makes this big, gigantic crater in the ground. But, man, I enjoyed this movie. I enjoyed this movie. This little kid, man, he went down there. He came back, and his mom could tell it wasn't her child, man, because the mother can tell something's wrong with her child. That's the thing about being a parent. You can tell when something's wrong with your kid. But anyway, she starts doing little things to see if he can remember stuff, because he's just a little boy now. He can't be no older than seven. And then there's this crazy woman that walks around the neighborhood, and then she had lost her little boy, and she ran over him and killed him. But she said that his little boy never was the same because he acted the same way. But this woman was much older than this young woman because this young woman was a single mom and never touched bases on her, her husband or the boy's father because she had this, this gash on her head that she always had her bangs over because it was a scar. Because when she was going back to the doctor, the doctor was giving her prescription pills for something because she had anxiety. But never covered what happened. I don't know if she was in a battered relationship. Or what? But I never did do that. Now, they could have covered bases what that was all about, too. But as far as this little boy, he started acting weird. Eating spiders. He was scared of spiders. And his mom had to go in there. And she, he he was telling his mom, aren't you going to kill it? And she goes, no. She let it out. And she goes, his dad would kill it. And she goes, well, dad's not around. And then, so he decided, he killed the spider right in front of him. She goes, she looked at him, you know, and he says, you, she said that she was lying about something. Because I, you know, the dad's not around. But anyway, uh, he sneaks out and goes in that little, you know, they go out on a, where'd they go? I think they went out on a walk and in the forest. It was pretty out there, by the way. I wouldn't mind living in an area like that. Less people, the better. But anyway, uh, I love nature. But anyway, they walks out in this pretty place. It's in Ireland. And she, she loses, you know, her, did he sneak out or something? Anyway, she had to go look for him. And she found him by this uh, big crater. And she looks, and this is a gigantic crater. And it goes all the way down and stuff. But then, you know, I think the night before he sneaks out. And then he goes down there. When he comes back, she starts seeing difference in him and stuff. So then she's trying to figure out what's going on. So then uh, this older lady who lost her son years back, same way. Uh, you know, she, 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 she ran into him and in walking down the street and then she was blocking off the road. So she told him to get out of the way. But then she, her husband's like, I'm sorry about my wife. She's, you know, you know, she's like that, you know, because they had lost their year, their son years way before. And the same thing that 
this young woman's going through with her boy. The same thing this older woman and this couple had with their boy. But the father was just trying to block it out of his mind. Well, anyway, that older lady ends up dying. But before she died, she looked at the she looked at that little boy and she goes, "He's not your son." And it kind of freaked her out. But then as the movie progressed, she started realizing that wasn't her boy. And what happened was, you know, he's. He starts, she starts questioning. He got mad and pushed the table at him. Well, you got to understand, this is just a seven-year-old boy. This table is big. He pushed it like he was some big, strong dude. But she knew then something was up. Well, then uh, she started having all these crazy dreams. And then uh, there was another scene where she was in the kitchen and she questioned him about something. And he turned around and he looked at her. And she asked him a question that he was supposed to know. But he got up and he started looking at her. He got, he got mad. Because he couldn't answer the question because he didn't know. Because only the real boy would know the question. It was a game they played and he didn't know how to answer. So he got mad and he started walking up to her. And she said, you're not my boy. He kept walking. He had this evil look. She goes, you're not my boy. And he just walked up, kept walking up. She says, you're not my boy. So then he grabs her and he throws her over in the kitchen. Grabs her again. You can hear him smacking her. They did a good job with that because he's only a seven-year-old kid. So obviously this little boy couldn't do that. He was just trying to act from the camera. And then it showed him throwing her across this way. Then it showed him trying to bury her. And the way he buried her is the, the they I don't know how they buried people. They they have their body sticking out and just put their head in the dirt and cover. Well, she gets up and he faints because she had given him some uh, prescription medicine to make him fall asleep. So then she locks him in the basement. So then when she locks him in the basement, she gets a mirror and when she puts the mirror up against him, it shows this creature. So anyway, she locks him up. And attacks her again. Somehow she, she throws him down and, and knocks it out a little bit. And then she runs upstairs and she locks it in the basement. She goes out. She goes down this big crater hole and sinks all the way to the bottom. And I'm watching TV saying to myself, this woman's got some nerve. But, you know, a mother's love. She goes all the way down. She falls. And then she's got this flashlight and she's looking. Now, at this point, I'm sitting there going, man, there ain't no way. But then again... You don't know what you do when it comes to your kids. So anyway, she goes and she goes and goes. And then she finds all these bodies that's been, you know, they're all skeletons now. And uh, she looks to see if her boy's down there. And then she finds her boy. And he's, he's, he's unconscious. She finds out he's breathing, but he's unconscious. But I'm sitting there saying to myself, so how many days passed since he's been down in that hole? So she grabs him and stuff, and she's trying to go out this little hole that she came crawling into and grabbing him. And then all of a sudden, these cre this this creature that looks like the boy that she locked up in, you know, in the basement, start following him and stuff. And she's trying to drag a little boy out, and it's it's dragging after. Her. And then when she finally gets out, the hand grabs her hand, and why she's grabbing, hitting the hand, she's hitting the hand, and when she looks up, it's her. Whatever's down there copies people. And she looks and she sees it's her. And then it shows her striking it. And then it shows her coming out of the hole, carrying her little boy. And then she puts him on a tree and tries to see if he's still okay. And then, you know, he's he's barely, you know, he's breathing, but you know, he's just weak. So then she goes back to the house and she goes in the car. She's not gonna mess around. She's just gonna leave, right? So she doesn't have the key. Something they're going, oh man, she's got to go back in the house. What's she going to do? Fight this thing or something? Oh boy, here we go. That's what I'm saying to myself. Watch TV, right? So she goes in. She finds the keys and she goes out. She puts the boy in the back seat. And I'm saying to myself, I really hope that's him. Please be him. Because sometimes I don't, I don't like all these cliffhangers where it shows them going, eh, and it's another, another creature, right? So she, uh, she gets in the car, she turns around, she starts looking at the house. And I'm like, what's going on with the house? And when she was inside the house, this creature was saying, mommy, let me out. Mommy, let me out. Because it was that creature that mimicked her real boy that was in the back seat of the car that she just pulled out of that hole. So she looks back and she sets that whole house on fire. And so the house is on fire and stuff. And so she drives away and then she, it flashes to her living in some town in Ireland in an apartment. And then it shows a little boy. And then in the earlier in the movie, when that woman died, that old woman died, the old woman had a bunch of mirrors around and she couldn't understand why. So then when it showed her in her new apartment, 
and she went back to school and her life was normal and they showed her boy playing and stuff. She started taking pictures of him while she was up. He said, Mom, can I stay outside so I can ride around the bike? So he's riding around circle, smiling, having a good time. She's taking pictures to see if his face changed. It didn't change. And then when it shows her walking around the apartment, she got all these mirrors. So she was gonna make sure that, that that kid was make sure that kid was his because every time you the, the reflection, you could see if I look at you straight on, it'd be you. But if I put a mirror in front of you, it would show you a real reflection. So it ended like that. I was like, ah, you smart, girl. You smart. So this movie was really good. And I'm going to tell you, this movie came out in 2023. And the reason why I enjoyed it is because I like movies like this. Some of y'all are not going to like this movie because it's not going to have enough maybe showing her walking around her panties or... Or her necking in the shower. I don't know why they got through all them scenes. They showed her taking a shower. They didn't show anything. They showed her taking a shower. The reason why they showed that scene, by the way, taking a shower, because she was taking a shower and she's getting ready to go to bed. And she walked by and she heard a boy in there playing. And so she looked and seen him eat a spider. And when she walked out, by the way, she put her pajamas on. And so the reason why I'm saying some of y'all might not like this because it doesn't have anything in it. It doesn't have... I'm not going to get into it. It just don't have anything that I don't like. It was a well-basic, just grounded, nothing over the top, just a good horror movie. It's a, it's rated R. It's the hour and 31 minutes, and it came out in 2023. And I enjoyed this movie, and I'm glad I watched it. And I was getting ready to cancel my, my Max subscription because I was watching uh, uh, some people at work was telling me about True Detective, so I watched that. First episode, you guys are phenomenal on True Detective. That those season two and season four are horrible. I might check out Marshall Ali's season three. I, that might be redeemable to watch. So anyway, I tried to cancel, but I actually was gonna cancel after I watched this movie. When I went to cancel this morning, they gave me a deal, so I decided to keep it. So anyway, God bless you. Take care, and we'll catch you next video. We'll see you.